If you'd like to add an extra layer of security when signing into your Sonology NAS, consider using a hardware security key like a YubiKey. The setup is simple and straightforward, and in this video, I'll walk you through configuring an account to use a YubiKey for both single-factor and two-factor authentication. Before we get started with the setup, I want to explain why you should consider using a YubiKey even if you already have two-factor authentication set up with time-based one-time passwords. One of the main reasons is that YubiKeys are designed to be phishing resistant. When you register your YubiKey to a service, it binds to that specific URL. So if an attacker tricks you into visiting a phishing website, the YubiKey won't generate a code for it. In contrast, when using a time-based one-time password, you need to verify the URL carefully before entering your code. Another reason to consider a YubiKey is passwordless authentication. YubiKeys authenticate through touch by plugging it into a USB port or for NFC models by close proximity to a compatible device. This eliminates the need to retrieve a code from an authentication app, SMS, or email and then enter it on your device. These are a couple of reasons I recommend using a YubiKey for Synology NAS authentication. I'll also leave a link to the solution section of the Yubico website in the description for more reasons you may want to use a YubiKey. Now let's get to the prerequisites for setting up a YubiKey with a Synology NAS. For the YubiKey itself, I'll be using a YubiKey 5C NFC, which comes with a USB-C connector and supports NFC or near field communications, allowing you to use it with compatible smartphones. Next, your Synology NAS needs to have a valid domain name and be accessible over HTTPS, so we'll need to set up a DDNS hostname. Go to Control Panel, select External Access, then DDNS. Click Add, select Synology as the service provider, and enter a host name you would like to use. Click Test Connection to confirm that your NAS has access to Synology's DDNS servers. If the status reads normal, check the box to get a certificate from Let's Encrypt and set it as default. Next, click OK and confirm the warning about the change to the default certificate. Once the web server restarts, DDNS should be set up. Next, configure a reverse proxy by going to Login Portal, select Advanced, then click Reverse Proxy. Click Create to open the Reverse Proxy Rules window. Enter in a name for your reverse proxy. Then for source, set the protocol to HTTPS. Enter the DDNS hostname you created earlier for hostname and set the port to 443. For destination, keep the protocol as HTTP, enter localhost for the hostname, and set the port to 5000, then click Save. You'll then need to configure your router to port forward port 443 to the corresponding port on your Synology NAS. Also, if you'd like to access your NAS externally, you may need to set up a firewall rule on your router to allow access. Now that the prerequisites are complete, switch to using the DDNS hostname via HTTPS to access DSM to start configuring your YubiKey. Click the user icon in the upper right corner of the DSM window, select Personal, then Security. Under Sign In Method, select Single Factor Authentication, choose Hardware Security Key, and enter your password to verify your identity. This opens the passwordless sign-in setup wizard. Select USB key slash passkey as the key type, then click Next. From this sign-in window, select Security Key, then click Continue. Now, plug your YubiKey into a free USB port on your device and tap the touch sensor to activate. You can then name your YubiKey and click Done to finish the setup. Now sign out of DSM and sign back in, this time selecting Other Sign-In Methods and use a Hardware Security Key. 
When the Sign In pop-up window appears, select Security Key, click Continue, and tap on your YubiKey to sign in. Next, let's set up two-factor authentication. Click the user icon in the upper right corner again, select Personal, then Security, and choose two-factor authentication. Enter your password to switch from passwordless sign-in to two-factor authentication. In the configured devices available for two-factor authentication window, leave the Yes option selected to use your YubiKey and click OK. With two-factor authentication, you also need to add an alternative sign-in method, so click Start. Install an Authenticator app on your mobile device like Synology's Secure Sign-In or Google Authenticator. Use the app to scan the QR code, enter the one-time password for verification, and then add a backup email address and verify the email to complete the two-factor authentication setup. Once done, sign out of DSM again and sign back in with your password and YubiKey to confirm that two-factor authentication is working correctly. Your Synology NAS is now significantly more secure thanks to the integration of your YubiKey. And for more ways to secure your NAS, check out the videos listed here on screen. Lastly, if you'd like to support my work or hire me for a project, check out the links on screen or in the description below. Thanks so much for watching.